All right, I'm going to regret saying this, but in Elon Musk's defense, making an online community that's a bastion of free speech is actually really hard. Freedom of speech is tricky. I think we can all agree that it's important for people to be able to express themselves without the fear of being harmed, but what if someone is expressing themselves to cause harm? Like in the case of someone intentionally lying, calling out that there's a fire in a crowded place in order to cause crowds to panic and hurt themselves. I know this sounds hypothetical, but this was actually a common prank that happened several times in the 18th century that resulted in a lot of people dying. It's kind of a perfect illustration of how the freedom of speech can be weaponized. So it's important that people have the right to express themselves, and ideally we want to make sure those same people aren't abusing that right to hurt people. Should be doable. Right? <laughs> uh, All right? How do you even identify what harming someone with words looks like? At what point is silencing someone justifiable? At, and what does someone being silenced even look like? These are never easy questions to answer before the internet, but in the era where everyone, everyone has a platform, these questions have only become more and more complicated and more and more necessary to answer. And I believe that at the heart of a lot of these complications is bias. If you ask eight different people for an example of someone abusing the freedom of speech, you'll get eight very different answers. But the one common thing you'll find with each of these people is they're going to use an example of uh, someone they disagree with. So the freedom of speech, this thing that's supposed to be an absolute right for everyone, lives or dies entirely on personal opinion. Because more often than not, the decision of what is or isn't harming someone will fall to just a handful of people. And I know what some of you are right now thinking. There's a simple solution to this. That freedom of speech should be protected no matter what, even if it ends up hurting someone. And I actually think you've got your head in the right place. I personally believe that the more people are silenced, the more they are stripped of their ability to be heard, the more bad stuff happens. Giving people an outlet to express themselves can prevent harm. I would even go so far to say that I think we should be prioritizing protecting freedom of speech over preventing people from being hurt by it. But that being said, you never go 100% freedom of speech. This is something that's been done many times throughout the history of the internet, and it almost always goes the same way. When you allow anyone to say whatever they want with no consequences, what tends to happen is you attract a certain type of person who is usually not great for society. Someone who's been kicked out of many other communities. You might even find that a lot of these people will flock to any place where they are able to speak their mind. So much so that they will end up driving anyone who might not want to spend time with them away. And the end result? Your bastion of free speech, which I have to imagine you were intending to be for everyone, now skews heavily in favor of one group of people and will inevitably become just another echo chamber that is very biased towards propping up one specific type of speech. I do believe it's possible for a community to be a bastion of free speech, but it takes good moderation. And unfortunately, even with the best moderators, bias is inevitable. But that doesn't make equity impossible. Look for places that, despite wearing their bias clearly on their sleeve, they're still willing to try and tolerate the people who oppose them. I know this might be hard for some to hear, but before Elon took over, Twitter was one of those places. I'm not really sure what it is now, but I guess Elon doesn't really know either.